Hi everybody and welcome to the Well-Educated Artist. Today we are going to be making a secret garden. Here in the Dallas, Texas area we have lost all of our flowers. It has been over a hundred every day for months without any rain and so I need a little bit of pretty. So my solution is this secret garden. So let's get started with this something a little bit different. It is an 11 by 14 oval canvas so I thought that would be fun today. And we're going to need to go ahead and you can see you might see i have some pencil drawings just trying to figure out what my composition is going to be and i'm going to be using some titanium white and i am going to go ahead and coat my canvas this is just mixed with floetrol and water three to one ratio and it's been sitting so hopefully it's not going to be too awful thick not too bad Just going to spread that out super quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is doing a swipe on the bottom third of the canvas and it's going to be multicolored because I want a really fun garden. My flowers I'm going to put up here and I'm also going to have some leaves. At least that's what I think is going to happen. So what I'm going to do is put down some colors. I'm going to start with some very vibrant colors. This is just violet or purple. And then I'm going to go really crazy with a fluorescent pink color. And I'm just going to move my way down. This is lime green. Turquoise blue. Viridian blue or green is just called Viridian. Might put a little bit up there too. Primary yellow. I might need to spread my purple just a little bit. I'm also going to be putting some of a lighter yellow that I've mixed that I keep on hand. And more color. Let's see. I may add a color. You see my, my fluorescent pink is fairly heavy and it's actually sinking. So I'm going to go put a little bit of this pink over the top of that. And then I'm going to add some fluorescent pink. Let's make sure I mixed it really well this time. Down here on the sides, maybe that'll stay a little better. Just love that color. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of green a darker green and a tiny bit of orange that's not too tiny of a bit so a lot of colors a lot of colors on the bottom third so I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more white not much just a tiny bit and actually I'm going to use this one. I know this one has a mix in it. A little easier to work with too. It has a little bit of an iridescent in it or pearl. And I'm just going to take my icing spreader and I'm just going to go over the top. You can use anything you want to swipe with, but I'm going to be swiping with this today. to go over that again. I really want some of that color over here. There we go. Sometimes your colors kind of disappear. You don't want that to happen. Look how pretty that is. All those colors. I'm going to hold that actually. What I might need to swipe again 
if my cells don't come up. Let's see. All right, I'm going to swipe again. I like the cells coming up here. It may just take a little while. Okay, I am too impatient. Okay, so while that's developing, I am going to be moving on because I honestly don't need all of the pretty cells down here for what I'm going to do, but I definitely do want the color. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do is put in some flower stems. I've taken a picture of what I think is going to be the composition and I'm going to be working off of that. So it's just easier for me to go ahead and put the stems and kind of know where my flowers are going to go. Okay, off camera, I just have a plate that has some colors. So I'm just going to take some green and I'm going to go ahead and put an indication of where my stems are going to be. This just helps me know where I'm going to put my flowers. You don't have to do this. You can do this very organically and you don't have to worry about it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. It just makes me feel better. Okay, it just gives me an idea of where I'm going to be putting some of my flowers. Now, to make my flowers, I'm going to be using these dessert cups. You may have seen dessert cups. When you buy them, you usually have to buy around 200 of them, so I have lots of these. So a lot of people use these and they pour over the top to make flowers. I know Fiona Art does a beautiful job of making those flowers. I have not had as much success making that kind of flower, but we are still going to be using these to make flowers. But we're not going to be doing it the traditional way. So let me show you what I do to make flowers. So I take my color and I'm going to go around the outside of the cup on the bottom. And then I fill in the middle part with a contrasting color. In this case, I am using sapphire blue and primary yellow. And it really doesn't matter other than being messy that it's going over the sides, but so you have something that looks like this. And what I do is I just turn it upside down and I press. And when I lift, I get a flower. So maybe I'm not as successful with pouring the flowers over the cups, but these turn out pretty awesome. So you can just go in into the middle and just pop it up. And there you have a flower, your secret garden. Now you can make any kind of flower you want. I'm going to be sticking to the complementary colors of sapphire blue and orange. I'm just going to be using, it's called mandarin pill, but it is, it is orange. So let me show you that again. In case you didn't get that, you just go right around. I clean the cup after. You just go right around the edge of the cup. You're essentially using it as a stamp and it works fabulously. put some in the middle you do not have to be clean about it I do try to get drips because I don't want them dripping on my canvas and then you just go ahead and you press it down and you take it back up it makes an absolutely beautiful flower now I'm just going to change it up a little bit I'm going to be using my mandarin peel going again around the edges This one's a little bit of runny, a little bit runny. These are all pour paints, just the standard pour paint. This is a premix that I'm using here. And you can do whatever you want as far as the middle is concerned. I'm just gonna go for this. And maybe I'll put a dot of my lighter yellow, just something a little different. I'm not sure I've got that in the shot, so. It's not very pretty. It's wanting to run. So a little bit thicker paint probably works better here. So wherever you want it, wherever you want that special flower, I'm gonna do it right here. Turn it over and lift. 
to find the middle, you often need to stick your finger in it. Okay, just continue to do that. It is so satisfying when you get to see your flower. If your flower does not turn out, you can just go over it again. My blue got a little clogged up and I didn't get quite enough paint on there. What I'm actually going to do is just do one side. I think I'm gonna try that. And just, so I don't interfere. Kind of neat to do it some double dipping ones. I'm gonna put one more way up here. That's pretty. So depending on how you place your cup is going to be what your flowers look like. Just a few more times. I need one right here. Now I tell you, I am not going over my original composition. I have definitely changed how I'm doing some of this. But you know, whatever works. Here I'm not cleaning it, so that's why you're seeing a difference in the flower. That one's really big. I'm gonna go around and kind of give these flowers some centers. That one had a really neat center, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it. Now, I am not as crazy about this as I thought I would be. I would like to have more green in this. So I am just going to go ahead, and this may make it murky. I kind of like this but I'm not real crazy about this. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna add just a tiny bit. And I don't need a lot, so I'm actually gonna go over the top of this with something. It's probably something you've never seen quite before, but I'm gonna be mixing some techniques with this. I'm just not that crazy about this. And I'm just gonna use it, it's still dirty from before. And go back over it. So it has the color scheme that I want it to have. I'm going to leave this purple. I think I'm just going to leave all that. I'm not real concerned with what's going on with this because I'm going to be doing a treatment over the top of this. What I'm going to be doing is taking this metal scrubber and I'm going to be taking some green paint, some yellow paint, and some light green paint. And you may have seen this technique before, but you're just going to dip it in there and you just get some on here. And then, you're going to be making leaves. Now I didn't, I put this down here because I wanted some variation, I wanted some color. So, you're just gonna wipe off in between, and we have some leaves for our bouquet. That's why I wasn't so concerned with this. I wanted some interest and I wanted some color, but it was not necessary for me to have everything perfect.
just load your scrubber and you're kind of off. Now I've got a lot of paint down here and that may cause a bit of an issue. We'll just kind of go with it. You never know what you have around the house that you can use when you're fluid painting. That did not show up enough. I have a lot of paint. So now I am going to go back and I'm going to put in more of my stems. I think I'm done for now. When this dries, I can paint in a butterfly if I want, or bees, or add some details here and there by hand. But right now I'm just going to stop with it and see how it dries. Okay, here it is, completely dry. And I thought I wanted to add something to it when it was dry, but I really, really like this. So I think I'm gonna keep it just the way it is. I love the way it turned out. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, join me again. Thanks for watching.